Good evening, and welcome to Vita Sona. Tonight in our programme, we will be finding out about a man, Russell Sane, who thinks he is a tree. We will be talking to his brother, Eric, to find out more about this fascinating story. So, um, Russell. Um, Eric. I know your brother. All right, sorry. Uh, what an extraordinary person he is, Emma. When were his roots established, per se? Excuse the pun. Um, from a very young age. Um, obviously, we just thought it was a phase at the time. I mean, what normal child at that age wouldn't think that they were a twig? Obviously, as he got a little bit older, he thought that he was a rather big pot plant. I think it was an evergreen. And as he got into his teenage years, took on the embodiment of a U. Interesting. So, does he still think he's a U, or does he embody different types of trees? Yes, he does. Um, especially recently, he was going through a very bad bout of depression uh, and took on the form of a willow. Obviously, depending on the mood, he... That's... Just, that's extraordinary that someone can actually think that they're a tree. Um, it's fascinating. It is. That's why we're here. Um, so, at what age did he actually start thinking that he was a tree? You said teenage, but what age in particular? As an actual tree form uh, from the age of 16. Right. And how old is he now? Uh, 43. Right, 40, that's a rather big gap. Yes. Um, how have you dealt with this? Has it not affected you in any way? I think the biggest concern that I face is the fact that trees can last up to 200 years plus. And obviously I don't think that Russell will live that long. That was Eric Sane, Russell Sane's brother. In a moment, we will be seeing Russell Sane in his tree form, with Eric, um, with Eric taking us through what exactly the embodiment is. We'll be back in just a moment. We are here now with Russell, and um, it's a fascinating sight. It is, it really is. is. Um, Eric is now going to take us through what is happening. Eric, would you like to explain? Yes, well, as we can see, uh, he's going through the four seasons, yes. starting off with spring. Oh, uh, yes, you can see from the expansion of the hands the... Well, the, branches. The, oh. And now we're approaching summer, as you can see by the fully blossomed leaves. Oh, it's quite a sight. Yes, yes it is. It's, he looks like a real tree. He does, yes. And uh, uh, oh. oh, we've approached autumn now, as we can see the first leaves have started to oh, fall. Quite rapidly, actually. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm. And I'm guessing he's approaching winter now. Yes, it's uh, the yeah. cold time of the year. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it started to wilt. Oh, that's a shame. Oh. The uh, first winter winds have drawn in. Oh, <laughs> Typical. Like, they look like, like gale force winds. Yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and it looks like the branches have been cut off. Yes, perhaps by a bus or maybe the wood's been put to better use. And, uh, oh, he's a chair oh. now. That was absolutely astonishing to see, it and was. it was so intriguing. Thank you so much for tear jerking. It it is. Um, I'm not quite, but it you can understand why yes. it would be. Um, yeah, it's thank you so much, Eric. For thank you very much for letting us That's fine. No have problem. an insight into your brother's life. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That's all for tonight, but now a quick sneaky peek what's going to be on next week's programme. Oh, a treat.
tar jacket. And next week we'll be going to Tunbridge Wells where we'll be speaking to a lady called Patricia Rose who thinks that she is a deer. So I said, come here, right? You think you're all that, right? And I came up to him, well, bat him in the face, didn't it? Thank you very much for watching, and good night.